Imagine you start a painting class. You find it easy and sometimes challenging. Then you realize you're getting better and fast. That rising excitement you feel is your passion. And that passion makes you come back for more, improving your skills and compounding your strengths. And that's precisely how I feel when growing succulents. It is the same feeling I have when I work with my painting and creating something in architecture. How about you? Did you find your fashion yet while in your post-retirement life? Hi guys, this is Four Leads and welcome to Four Leads Arts and Architecture. It has been raining for the month of February and today is sunny. Take advantage of the sun. It's around 4 o'clock in the afternoon and have a lot of succulent repots. Those are the things that I bought from last week. In today's video, I would like to share how I repotted the tiny succulents I bought last week. But before we do that, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel to help me grow my channel. Click the like button, share, and leave a comment so we can connect and learn from each other. Newly purchased succulents are not in soil suitable for long-term growth, and they should be repotted as soon as possible. Leaving them in the rich, wet soil will cause them to die more quickly. As succulents grow, they put off more roots until they are tightly packed. The succulents I unboxed and showed in my video last week were dry and so much loose soil on the plant so I had to water and clean them as soon as possible. So let's get started. Make sure you have your tools and materials ready. I have mixed my soil on the table ready to use. The mixture is one part sand and two parts succulent soil. I have my tiny and medium rocks ready, cute tiny gardening tools and gloves for safety. I have pre-selected which plant goes to which pot. Pairing succulents with the pot is important so they look perfect together and pleasing to the eye. I am pairing this tiny sedum and two euphorbias to my three set spot. Putting rocks in the bottom is essential when planting succulents in the pot. Adding a layer of rocks, pebbles, or stones, or a combination of this in the bottom of the pot can create a drainage layer. This can help prevent root rot by allowing excess water to drain out of the soil and into the rocks at the bottom. Fill the container with soil, leaving some space between the top of the soil and the top of the pot. Because this is a smaller pot, it is okay to leave about half up an inch, enough for me to put tiny rocks on top. Transfer from an old to a new container. Insert your old container into the soil to reference the center where you will insert your plant. Remove the succulent from the old container. Clean it up and remove some excess roots before planting it into the new container. Fill in some soil and push to intact the soil. Put some pebble rocks on top of the dressing. The benefits of top dressing for succulents are to absorb more heat warming the earth and stimulating root development. Reflect the heat and break up the heavy force of water, either from rain or watering, preventing soil erosion. Finally, when done planting, give them a good amount of watering because they were so dry when received from the nursery. Now the three succulents are transferred, I have 19 more to do, so let's keep going.
It has mostly been raining since the start of this year in California, so this new collection's home will be on my kitchen bay window until the spring, about four weeks from now. My kitchen bay window is an excellent and perfect location for baby succulents because it has plenty of natural light but is not too sunny or hot. This is my favorite location to grow plants indoor. Today is the third day after delivery. They were such tiny babies when I unwrapped them, but it is so amazing how they grow fast after transferring from the old container to a new pot. I am excited to see them grow and look forward to transferring them to bigger containers. Now that I have 22 additional succulent collections, I will name this batch the 2023 FAASC Model D, which means 2023 Four Leads Arts and Architecture Succulent Collection Model D to track them as they grow. And that will do it for today, guys. Please remember to subscribe and leave a comment. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.